Hey, there we go. We got it. So Ooh, what are we looking at here? Uh, all right. All right. So it's looking like uh, I'm looking at the... Okay, so your team is the top. And so we've got a Lux, a Seraphine, a Lucian, Graves, and Cho'Gath, which is all a... Which is kind of an interesting team, in my opinion, like, um, to have what I would consider two supports. So Seraphine is a newer character. She came out about three characters ago, and she's still pretty new to the meta. And Lux is also a support. So it'll be interesting to see if they end up laying together, because that's what I actually end up doing with my friends, is we do double support bottom. And then, let's see, for Akron, we've got an Aurelia, a Zac. Uh, Anivia, Zaya, and Morgana. Ooh, so Morgana's probably going to be the support in the bot lane because she has really good stuns and so does Lux. So bot lane's going to be a constant stun battle, probably. Um, and then Anivia is an interesting uh, character because she, upon death at a certain point, can be resurrected or brought back if her, both her and Zack actually can do that. If they are not if they're what their like little spawn token isn't destroyed, they will come back into play. Okay, so maybe uh, Enzo can help me out with some camera work uh, as well. Many Bones, they're working around a lot of crowd control. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep, Looks definitely. Like we are loading. We've got GHC on the left with Card Kid, Thunder Marble, I Like Cups and Buckets, Zodet, and <laughs> Mega Gay Uwu. And um, I am not getting any game audio. How about you? I am not hearing any game audio yet either. Um, so there might have to be some fiddling around in the settings you got to play with. And I am going to really quickly turn off my Discord notifications because, uh, oops, <laughs> we don't need <laughs> it. It happens. Okay, yeah, not getting any audio, but I'm I'm sure we'll fix that soon. So, um, I got to ask you, Aller, in streams that you watch, do people does the do mm -hmm. we let the directed camera sort of take take care of it automatically, or do we jump around to our players? Um. So what I've seen a lot from um. When, from the streams that I've seen, and I've I also watched, you know, the World Championships of League. Uh, I kind of like, or when I spectate too, I kind of just like letting the camera do as it pleases. But then if you see, like, some ca player character health going down, like, dramatically on either side, I would go to that character and see what's going on there. Okay. So, yeah, the, the auto cam seems to be sort of taking care of it. Mm-hmm. And like early auto cam, you can kind of it kind of focuses on where a majority of the players are. So like that Zach there for a second, they were going they're going for the buffs in the jungle. Um, yep. So see, they're helping them get the buff, so not as much damage is taken by the jungler. Oh. I'm gonna leave it to you to to. Uh... <laughs> commentate and watch. I'm going to go see if I can fix that audio. Um, thank you, folks. I no will problem. be right back. want to get some audio for y'all. Oh, we got some early Aurelia versus Cho'Gath drama up in the top lane there. Yep, I was right about bot lane, double support. That's going to be fun. Lots of crowd control there. Oh, that poor, the top lane is going to be a bit of a struggle with Aurelia's dashes. Oh, got some vision in their jungle, so now that they know they're there. Mid lane seems to be doing pretty good with the minions so far. Bot lane was kind of been a little bit behind, but that's really common for early game pushing. Oh, first kill's gonna go to uh, Grey's Harbor. First blood. 
it's like Seraphine got taken out by Zaya there in bot lane. So it's up to Lux to hold the line until she can come back. But luckily, early game respawns really slow. Oh, I mean, really quick. You come back pretty fast. Okay, I am back, and I am going to try restarting our NDI client and hope that we can get our audio coming through there. I know we're going to miss a little bit of the game, but frankly, I want to make sure we get the best possible experience. So I mean, you it's... It's not as much fun if you can't hear those spell effects, you know? I totally agree. And it looks like that. Oh, I hear it. And we have video back as well. Uh, yep, video's coming back, but it's a very thin bar, so you might have to do some clicking. There we there go. There we go. Okay, we're back in it. So weak. Yeah. What did I miss? Oh, mid lane. Um, well, so Grace Harbor got first blood. They took down. Um, I, I missed who the kill was, but I think Graves got the kill. Um, followed immediately after the other kill was our Seraphine being taken down by Akron's um, Morgana and uh, Zaya combo. Gold is exactly the same. Slight advantage, I mean. Yep. Yeah, I never understood the gold economy until later on in playing League of Legends, and now I understand its importance. Can you give me the elevator description of the of the gold importance? Okay. I'm, I'm still where I don't okay. get it. Okay. Okay, so the gold importance is, is so the jungler, like that's kind of like the jungler's early game job, is to go through the, these forested areas and kill the monster camps for gold. And by doing that, they are able to buy items and scale faster in order to help out the other lanes. Oh wow, we got like a full-on team battle already here within the first five <laughs> minutes. But no doubt- oh, that Zack is so low if they were to turn around. See, and so that's the Nivea's resurrection. So Nivea was taken down before she could resurrect there. That's what something I was talking about. Um, so both Nivea and Zack can do that. Okay, looks like they're settling down now. Uh, they're going for the dragon pretty early here. Uh, but yeah, so the gold economy is really important in early game. Thunderfire will take some damage. Yeah, wow. Okay. Um... Yeah, so that was four out of the five part, uh, team members all going for the Drake there, which is a really good thing with this early in the game because you could always have the problem of, like, the bot lane needs to coming up to take him out, but now the party has just decided to go on for a full-on takedown, and they got their uh, Zaya, and now they're going for that Morgana, but she might get away because she has those stuns. Oh, but it doesn't matter. That was a really well done play there, but now they should probably recall and head back to their own lanes. Yeah, this looks like kind of uh, fearless playing coming out of Grace Harbor College. Yeah, the Grace Harbor is actually playing pretty aggressive for uh, so for the first 10 minutes of the game, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's also giving them that gold stack and some levels a little bit faster, but it's also allowing the unmanned uh, lanes to be get a bit of a one-up um, by the for Akron because they're doing damage to those turrets. Call it and deal big damage like what just happened there to Seraphine. Oh, and here comes uh, Jungle in mid lane to help out. Wow, okay! A double <laughs> nice lane clear there! That was some good assist. That's That was a very good assist by the mid lane and jungler's part. I'm 
looks like uh, Akron's mid laner is uh, getting a little bit safer close to the turret because she doesn't. They don't know where the uh, Grace Harbor's players were after you know decimating that bottom lane. I was just about to ask where Card Kid has been. I know he's he's the top laner, uh, but we haven't seen him. The auto cam hasn't picked him up. What does it look like he's oh, been doing? Well, um, let's find out. Here, I gotta move this around. Oh, that was close. So, Karth Kid is- yeah. So, Karth Kid, early on, I did notice early on against, uh, Aurelia that they were having a bit of a problem, but I think that's their first death so far. So, to be able to go up against a pretty- looks like, like, a pretty aggressive Aurelia, they're holding out pretty well. Spotlane's gonna be a constant battle of- and healing for both sides. Looks like oh. pretty targeted combat coming in towards Mega Gay Lulu from the Akron mm -hmm. team. Yeah. Well, because, uh, so Mega Gay Uwu is playing Lux, and Lux, after they hit level 6, um, their ult is slowly just gets more powerful and the cooldown faster, and they can just throw it out, like, every 15 20 seconds by end game. Okay, so here Zach was taken down, and if you don't get his little four buddies, he's gonna come back. So he came back with a little bit of health and is able to get away. Gotcha. And Lucian here is now having a bit of a problem against this Aurelia. Yep. It's interesting that I think it's really interesting that um, Akron took two two of the characters that can resurrect. Because I think that's a really good strategy that you can use in the long for endgame. Our kid going down again to pinball. Nice! Got that, uh, shut down the Aurelia after her double kill. Unfortunately, though, with, uh, mid the mid lane going to help bot and top lane as much as they have been in early game, um, Anivia has been able to slowly chip away at the turrets, even though they still have their armor up. So mid lane turrets probably going to be the first one to go down in this game. If you need me to hit tab because you want to look at the screen, just let me know. Okay, cool, cool. See what they're building and what the kills are at. Right. Yeah, Aurelia's doing pretty decent, and so is... Yeah, Graves has been doing a great job. Nice. That was a good root right there. Oh, just barely missed it with that luck salt, but luckily it looks. Just really targeting Mega Games. Yeah. Yeah, it really looks like that Zai is focusing the Lux as much as possible, and, I mean, that's a smart thing to do if you're playing up against a Lux. And let's see if our, uh... Let's see if he can get away. Damn, they really chased him down through the jungle. All four of them. Advantage now, seems like it's shifting in favor of Akron at this point in the mm -hmm, game. Akron, Not by much, but slightly. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit, um, with these two here, I don't know, they might not have enough minions to fully take the tower, but they're going for it. Oh, looks like, uh, yep, Drake is up, so the they're gonna go for it. Which, Grace Harbor got the first one, so if they're able to come in and steal the second one, or take it from these three, that would be a really, uh, good counterbalance to what we've been seeing. Yeah, but that's a 2v3, right? I mean, we had uh, Thunder Marble, and I didn't see who the second one was. Okay. Um, so Grace Harbor got... Yeah, well, it does... Oh, go ahead. Akron, uh, actually, if, if we talk over each other, you should take priority. Um, oh, okay. You're the, the expert here. I'm just a, a bystander. Uh, well, 2v3 against isn't always a bad thing. Like, sometimes they're just kind of waiting around. Well, now it looks like we have... Okay, so Akron got the, the fire drake, but we got now a full-on team battle here, and Grace Harbor's all fully healed, and they managed to get a kill off off of um, Akron. Oh, and they might be pushing uh, 
They're all just gonna push mid lane to try to get that a little bit off that tower, which is an interesting strategy, but not uncommon. Oh, and they're gonna get a lot of gold from this too, because taking any play, uh, turret plating down early game is like two, three hundred gold for each one, and they have five per turret. Okay. So this is a bold strategy, and but it might be off with all five of them there. This, okay, they've already gotten two kills. And that tower is almost completely chipped away. I feel like that was a really good trade-off for losing the Drake there. This was a really smart play. But they did lose one of their players in the process, but I mean, that's pretty even with the other team having lost three. They might Mindy actually take chat. this turret. Mindy in chat is saying Aurelia with that shutdown gold from Cho is going to help her power spike early. Uh, yeah, that is true. Um, so we saw that earlier about three, four minutes ago when she shut down Shogath, when he in turn had shut down her before, um, is going to give her the ability to power spike with what she buys with that gold. Because a, a lot of play, a lot of characters, it's not just leveling up that matters, it's the items that matter. Oh, Graves, I think just... Nope, that's that's uh, Graves Harbor's uh, jungle. So he's just doing his jungling job. Oh, bot lane, unfortunately, looks like they're about to lose their tower. Oh, maybe just in time. First turret down. All right, so that's going to make it a little harder in bot lane, but since we're getting the help of the jungler, they should be able to hold off. Now it's going to be kind of like a low period for a minute or two until they decide to do what their next big thing is. Oh, looks like uh, Akron is going to take another tower in top lane. So we got two towers down. Oh, three towers down, actually. We missed one. Open oh, that gold in Akron is in Akron's favor right now. Yes, it is. It's moving more in that direction, so. Mm hmm. And like, you don't think that a couple thousand really makes a difference, but that can be the difference between a legendary or a, a legendary item or a basic item. Lucian using their uh, ult there to wave clear. Not a bad strategy. I've done it before and with Lux as well, just to get rid of the minions and to try to get that through it. Oh, that was unfortunate. They didn't know that she was hiding there in that bush. Yeah, Mendy Bones again in chat calling out. Uh, now a 2k gold lead is dangerous for with Akron. Now a 3k gold. Wow. Yeah, it's a that much gold at this point in the game is a big deal changer. This is making the enemy team more powerful and have more mana, more health, more strength in comparison to uh, Grace Harbor, which can really make it hard to try to catch back up. Oh, we have the Morgana here just cleaning up the cleaning up the wards. Big common. Oh, Seraphine is now up in top lane with Lux. We've got some lane changes now. Akron's really using the jungle to their advantage here, I think. Let, let me know if you want to jump away from the auto cam to a more like a specific mm -hmm. lane. I, I'm happy to move in that direction. Oh great. Um, it's just kind of like everyone's a little bit focusing on this right now would definitely be a good thing because we got a possible team fight coming in here because we have 3v3 yep on each side of this jungle camp. Oh, they're catching up a little bit and up in gold because they were focusing those jungle camps but now it's going to be a minute or two until those come back. Alright, as what's uh what are they up here? I'm having the gold Yeah, they need to pick their fights carefully and force a power play. What's really gonna come into I think what's really gonna help them with that is that they have two stunners. They have Lux and they have Seraphine. If they happen to ult combo at the same time like see right here, they may be able to pick off one or two, but they need to be really careful. Yep, so there goes Lux. They need to use this turret to their their advantage. Right, what's gonna happen here? So we got some, 
Got some hits on the other enemy team, and... Graysdale is sitting pretty good for health, but they need to be careful about not trickling in, now that they're down two players. Especially against this Aurelia. I think if yeah. you hit tab, oh you'll see that Aurelia has the most kills at this point in the game. Yeah, she's at 9 and 4, and the closest is 5 with Saya. Aurelia's doing real good right now. See, this is smart. These three being here by this turret, especially with all the enemy enemy players nearby, they can use the turret to their advantage. So that Aurelia is pinball really coming in yeah. clutch for Akron at this point. Yeah, she's really bopping around between uh, players and getting those kills in. She's using her ult really uh, smart, too, to... Uh, control where the characters are going because you're slowed within that and it's you take damage as you try to get out of it. Alright, looks like some of the players are returning back for uh probably because they have enough gold to get a new item. Looks like Lux and Seraphine are gonna try to do some damage in mid lane perhaps. Ooh, that turret is barely holding on. It's got like one health point I think. Yep. It's just enough literally enough for a minion to take out. Oh, that's rough. So they really have to keep, uh, mid lane is going to be a pretty busy lane now with both those turrets down. Um, but I think it's smart, it would be smart for Cho, so Cho'Gath's been in top lane by himself for a while now, and I think that's a smart move, because that's the one lane that they've managed to get a turret down in. And with the enemy team focusing down mid and bot lane at this point, Cho'Gath can slowly work his way up top lane. Getting the camp's a good thing by the jungler. Yeah, everyone's right now is just powering up, getting ready for that next team fight. That's what's happening right now. Mendy Bones again in chat saying, with Akron having that gold lead, Grace Harbor needs to pick fights carefully and force a power play. Yeah. Because right now, I think that, yeah, the gold... The gold difference is, oh, is easily 5,000 right now, and that's a really big lead by Akron. Yeah. So, Grey's Harbor needs to be very careful, but this is still... This is still a winnable game. This is... We're only 20 minutes in. I've seen games go for 40, 50 minutes. Yeah, but League, League seems like it's pretty momentum-based. I mean, once, once yeah. one team starts to get momentum, it's really hard to stop that. I, I'm not, I don't mean to be all doom and gloom here, but the momentum seems <laughs> like it is significant in League of Legends. Oh, Lucian might get a kill off here. Nine, oh, and so now we gotta get the resurrection. So that's good for, that's good for Grace Harbor. That's some extra gold nice. and a shutdown. Um, yeah, it, League is very much bit. momentum. A little bit, yeah. Momentum is very much a, an important factor in League of Legends, and it's really hard to, like, slow it down. But like, see, little kills like that, where like, our, uh, Akron makes, you know, has a character that's by themselves and is able to be picked off by Graves, is enough to just slow them down even a little bit. See, they're waiting for the Drake to come back. So they have two, so Akron has two and we have one. Um, and I don't think the soul is yet in effect because I don't see any terrain differences. Um, but that will give boost to the team that manages to kill that Drake is a big, that'll be a big bonus if Grace Harbor is able to get that. This Zaya and uh, Morgana are just sticking together like glue, which is really smart because they work well together. Yeah, that is one thing I've noticed about Akron is, is they tend to pair uh, yeah. pretty effective combos. Yeah, they, they really have been, um, and we've seen our Lux and Seraphine staying together a decent amount, but like, see, right now, Lux recalled and Seraphine stayed in lane, which is a smart decision because she had the wave, but Lucia needs to be very careful right now because, uh, and Graves, because we have three, three Akrons, uh, roaming in the jungles just looking for someone to pick off. Now they're stealing a camp, which, you know, gold economy, but... Oh! <laughs> they're waiting in a bush? Interesting. I've done that before. It works. You can just get an unsuspecting person to walk by. 
They're being very cautious, which I think is a good thing, especially with those two right there. They're trying to bait them in because they have four versus two. Are they going for pinball? I think they are. I think I think they are going for. Yep. Aurelia. Okay, this. Looks like but Aurelia they retreated. Do. So. Yep, and now we have the other four team members here. It's because they're all waiting for that Drake. Okay, so Drake is here, so now Akron is going to try to take it out as fast as possible. And Grace Harbor needs to be very careful if they decide to go in or if they're going to push a lane. Oh, that Drake is gone. Oh, yeah, it got deleted. Oh, see, a second yeah. too late. So Lux what was going to try to hopefully get a steal. Right. Oh, looks like they're going for Baron now. So this could be a big this could this could really give them the momentum to just push through the end of this first game. Because if they get the Baron buff, that also buffs minions. And man, it's gonna be really hard to come back from that. So oh, looks like they're coming in for a team fight. No one's gonna get Baron right away. Oh, this is focusing. Nice. So they're getting Zack down. Using their stuns smartly. Looks like no one died on either side, which is really surprising. Oh, but now they're going back for the Baron. Let's see if Lux can get a steal in, or perhaps Graves. Yeah, they're coming in first. It looks like they're going to come in for a second attempt. Yeah, they are. Oh, Aurelia's gonna, yep. Yeah, that Aurelia. Aurelia's super. Oh, good. oh, so, okay, so Akron got Baron and they managed to get a kill in, but looks like uh, Grey's Harbor has managed to retreat enough to not let them get any more momentum on them. Oh, that was a really good alt by Lux, almost took out that Morgana. Oop, Aurelia might get shut down here because it's a 3 beat. Yep, so Aurelia has been shut down by our Lux. Nice. So that's some good gold there for uh, our Lux there. I believe she would have gotten a bounty of, um, bonus bounty of 700 gold. Oh, that's going to be real, real nice. Okay, so here I said mid lane with these, uh, buffed, these buffed minions, mm -hmm. man. It's going to be hard. But if you look at like the actual kill tally of 14 v 20, that's not too much of a gap that can't be overcome. We just got another two more. Yeah, but that I mean pinball that Aurelia uh, 11 five. Yeah. That's just. Is really she at 11 five? Heavy carry. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, it looks like our uh, Cho'Gath is gonna take down uh, Zaya. A nice shutdown. That's a shutdown gold of 500. Nice. I wonder if they're gonna- looks like they're gonna try pushing top lane- top and mid lane right now. Which I think is a smart thing to do, because that's their best bets. Oh, here's Aurelia. Pinball's come back. Alright, Pinball. I don't like you, but gosh darn it, do I respect you. I know, right? Oh, she's- I mean, this Aurelia is playing really smart. Yeah. Oop, we got everyone up in top lane. All right, we're gonna get some towers. All right, looks like we're gearing up for another another boss fight. Togath is doing his his meat shield job of taking that damage for the rest of the party. Look how big he is! Oh, yeah. I always forget how big Togath can get. Three full health bars. Oh my gosh! Deleted. So that just creates a ward so that they don't have to put one down and it can't be destroyed by the enemy team. So they will have vision there until that scuttle respawns, which is always nice to have. All right, be careful here. We got <laughs> we got a Zaya and we got Zaya and Aurelia versus just our Lucian. So and we've seen what those two from Akron can do when they're together, and it's it's significant. It's scary. It's yeah. scary. Okay, we've got our three together in mid lane. Oh, 
machine is gonna oh they're recalling so they must think it's safe enough to go back and maybe get some items um if you hit tab it'll tell me how long it is until drake respawn perhaps nope it won't show me in this view so i'm assuming drake is about to come back up and if they get it it will it. give them yeah, they're waiting for it, and I believe since it will be their fourth one, that will give them the Dragon Soul, which is another buff for Akron. So when but they are out... Oh, go ahead. You're at your question. Oh, uh, yeah, no, again, you should take priority. Feel free to interrupt me as much as needed. Uh, what is... I, <laughs> um, I've seen yeah. 3v3 ARAMs. What is the win condition for 5v5, for standard league? Uh... So, win condition, uh, yeah, so they will be getting the Dragon Soul, so dr the win condition will allow them, within certain points on the map, to actually have a faster movement speed, which can really make the difference if you're trying to run away from them, and they have this added bonus movement speed where they can just run you down. Oh, this is looking really promising, though, for Grey's Harbor. We got one, oh, so, there's so many low characters right now. Cho'Gath taking great damage from Aurelia. Oh. Zaya, though, that shut down on Lucian. No one's gotten Drake, though. Oh, I didn't realize Aurelia's name was literally Pinbrawl. <laughs> I thought yeah. you were just calling them Pinball. I love it. <laughs> I mean... Oh, looks like they are... They are gonna get this soul, unfortunately. Yeah. Ow. Yep, so the next dragon to come into play will be the Elder Dragon, and that's just an that's another buff that's really strong, like just like the uh, Barons is. So, but yeah, so right now they have the Wind, the Cloud, the- oh no, they have the Ocean Soul. Um, so that's actually different than the Cloud Soul. The Ocean Soul, I do believe, allows uh, for faster health regen. Do not quote me on this, this is like off of what I think is correct. I think it gives them a faster health regen. And it spawns more grass throughout the map, which is more hiding places that can be used by both teams. Yeah, that, that Aurelia is just insane. Yeah, like, like just is Amp just gonna delete this Lux. Like, oh gosh. I would not want to be alone right now in the jungle knowing that that Aurelia is out there prowling. Oh, looks like Lucian is gonna try to take out... Ooh. That uh, Anivia has some good uh, stuns on the slowdowns too. Just trying to get out now. Smart, smart. Let's see what's the gold. 48.5 versus 53.3. Yeah, they're waiting. I think we're gonna see a lot more team fights right now. Cause the gap isn't. The gap is there. There is a gap, but it's not. It's not like gonna crush them outright. They just have to play really carefully right now. Some of those early plays by Akron are looking really smart right now. Oh yeah, definitely. It looks, so here we are going after Baron again. And unfortunately no one from Grey's Harbor is close enough to even attempt to steal no. unless Lux manages to pop. No, yeah. Oh, see this is smart. They're all recalling, except it looks like Aurelia. And they are gonna use their gold to purchase. Oh, oh yeah, look at all these items. They're purchasing Spectre's Cow, Infinity Eng, uh, Zanya's Hourglass, and the um, missed the last one. But all of those are really good items. That is really gonna give them more damage output. Let's see where are they gonna go? Looks like they're gonna make their way down mid and top lane right now. Yep. We have Anivia and Zack in mid lane with our Lux there, with Orber members. So let's see what happens here. Wards for days everywhere. Oh, are they gonna manage to shut- Oh! Just enough with it. They were able to get some turret shots in on them because they were a little too close, but that Aurelia has massive- they, I'm assuming they probably have a uh, life steal. So for the more damage that they deal, they heal. 
Mendy Bones is asking, did you just say best of three? Yes, it is. Cho'Gath is trying so hard and doing such a good job as a sponge, but like, they can only take so much damage right. from this high outfit team. And it just keeps coming. Yeah, like... They're doing a really good job staying alive. Oh, Borrelia's going for it, but I think Togas. Oh! Lucian gonna be able to get a kill off here? Oh, nope, they have a... They're resurrecting, unfortunate. They must have a... Forgot the name of the item, but there's an item that once you die, you resurrect, like, 400 health. So, yep, so that is... So the first one is gonna go to Akron there. Well played, Akron. Mm hmm. That was a really well played game by both sides. Yeah, but credit where it's due. Uh, do we get a post game stats display? Sort of. Um, I don't know for a spectator. Yeah, we may have to have to reconfigure the spectate to focus on the league client. It's a different screen. Maybe our producer can do that mm -hmm. real quick. It is pulled up. Uh, so we can take a look at those stats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like it's coming. There we go. Oh, there so, we go. All so right. Walk, walk me through it. What do we see here? Besides the ridiculous right. KDA from Pinball. All right. Well, besides that ridiculous KDA, looks like we've got um, Cho'Gath did really good, you know, 6, 3, and 10. And gold-wise, unfortunately, the other team did have that advantage, it looks like, for overall between both teams. Um, but yeah, KDA-wise, I mean, both sides did really good and tried their best. We got a lot of assists from Lucian, and um, actually everyone was really participating in the kills that they did get. Every Ooh, okay, what do we got here? Ooh, we got a little bit of some changes. You. Okay, so what right, do you see? Walk me through right. this. All right, so we've got um, we've got Oren, Zach, uh, Silas, Senna, and Yumi. Almost a complete change for um, from Akron. They only have the one character that stayed the same, and then we still got Cho'Gath. We've got um, hold on, I gotta wait for this to disappear. We still got Lucian, but now we have an Ezreal and a Morgana, which is interesting, and an Udir. So I'm really excited to see this Morgana Ezreal combo versus a double. Now, now Akron is doing what we did in the last game. They now have a double support with uh, that Senna and Yumi there. So Senna is gonna. Re I this Senna has to be really, like, she has to be aggressive because Yumi. One of Yumi's entire thing is that they are supposed to, um, they attach themselves to another character, and they're not doing as much damage, but they are buffing the character they're attached to. So it's really interesting that they have both a Yumi and a Senna down in that bottom lane. And I'm just kind of like looking at what else they've got here, like for their abilities and such. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting game, but I, I think this speaks, like, this might possibly, I think GHC has a little bit of a one-up here. Like, that might be a little, a little, like, early for me to say, but, like, I mean, just looking at the team out lay layouts, like, they, they might have a little bit something. I don't know. Okay. See. Well, I like the sound of that. So we've got <laughs> Grace Harbor College in the red on the right, and we have University of Akron white uh, is the team name in the blue on the left? All right, I'm I'm really excited for this game because we've got some pretty big team changes, and it's really interesting that Akron is going with that double support bottom, even though that's what GHC did last time. You know. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Perhaps a, um, many bones just said that the teams seem a bit more balanced this time, and I'd have to agree with that. And oh, that poor Silas just walked right into all of GHC there. Well done. <laughs> oh, and this Pinball's orange gonna, is like oh. Yeah. 
they're sticking tight together. Yeah, see, I think they're they're perhaps learning a little bit from last game where they're like, yeah, our junglers want to go in and see like what's going on, but we're not gonna let them go alone. They're all recalling to reset. Senna and Zack waiting for, uh, I believe that is red, blue buff to spawn? No, that, that's red. I don't, I can never remember. I don't have my map in front of me. I always get them mixed up because it's flipped depending on, it's red buff. Okay. It depends on what side of the map you're on because it's reversed. And it looks like they're going to get it too. Totally uncontested by Grace Ever. <laughs> I know, right? How dare they not be there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I... <laughs> Sorry, you have to go forgive aside. Me. I'm such a dude. <laughs> it's funny. It, no, it's it's funny. All right, let's see what we got going here. Chogat versus Orin. Yep. Oh, where's Yumi? I miss here. Oh no, there she is. All right. Um. It really depends up to this uh, the Senna's ability to hit her skill shots will really make a difference. If she's able to get a shot off on any of the of either Ezreal or Morgana like consistently, that's really gonna help out uh, Akron. Yeah, Mendy Bone is highlighting the Senna as well, saying that is a high damage support. Yeah, she's one of the definitely one of the higher damages. It's just really interesting that they paired a really high damage support to what I consider a low damage support. Um, but maybe it'll work out for them. Maybe they've done this before in their scrims, you know? Oh, nice uh, damage there. Looks like Zach's having some trouble here. Oh. Yeah, boom. And he is going to... They're either going to stop his respawn or... Yep, there we go. Yeah, so uh, that's Udyr. Uh, Udyr is... I'm not a fan of him. I hate playing against him and I don't know how to play as him, but he's a jungler that can really cause some problems in early game. So it's hard, I gotta remember that the colors are swapped. I'm like, oh, nope, other way around. Getting some early hits off on the turret. Oh, yeah, wow, this Senna. Is seems to be pretty decent at her skill so shots. Ooh, nice stun by Grey's Harbor, but they have their oh junglers coming down to help. Nice, got uh, got Senna. Orin though might be Chogas is able to out of there. I am surprised Card Kid was able fun. to still stay alive against Pinball. I mean, Pinball is somebody yeah, that we've... I mean, absolutely caught my eye. Yeah. Yeah, as someone who we saw last game, as Aurelia was really able to get a lot of kills and do a lot of damage, uh, it'll be fun to see how they play as what is considered a slower character, you know? Oh, oh, got some help. Uh, they might be able to get uh, Silas. Nope. All right. That's fine. Everyone's playing a little carefully, which is probably a good thing compared to how last game went. We're getting close in levels to start seeing bolts happening from the top and mid laners. Card kid taking a beating up there. Risky. Yeah, but and, but he's he's playing a little risky, but he's staying alive, so it's working out. Maybe hoping to get a an early kill on Pinball. Gotta be very careful here because they have the wave. Oh. Oh, very smart, going for the vision. Yumi by herself, which is always a rare sight to see. Yeah, 
whatever. This is kind of like one of the slow periods of gearing up to things that are going to start happening. Then I'm getting some roots in. I'm really surprised that this Yumi is all by herself. She's gonna get wow. just destroyed by Lucian. Yeah, Lucian. Yeah, like just like I said, Yumi is boom. one of the, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, is very squishy. Senna doing really good job with those roots, but oh, that was smart using her spell shield. And Senna's alone right now, so these two could possibly uh, take her out while Yumi's alone. Zero to four. So far, let's see what's the gold looking like. Zero to four, and they got gold. Yeah, th but this happened last time. Like I, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna pin my hopes on this yet. I gotta see. <laughs> I, I gotta see. I gotta see how it's gonna go. Hayden Klinger in chat saying GHC in three. Now we're talking. I like <laughs> you it. don't want to jinx it. Right. Right. Because League can change. Oh my I mean, the tide can change. It's just you and me, yeah, it can change really fast. Which is one of the fun things, too, about League. Like, if you're on the, you know, the losing side, and then all of a sudden you're able to all of a sudden turn the tides, that's always something that's really thrilling and fun about the game. Yeah. Well, I, you know, when we were first talking about starting esports here, I went and watched some League play on YouTube, and <laughs> seeing oh, some of nice. those highlights... Oh, nice, we got the dragon. Seeing some of those highlight clips where where people have pulled off plays in pro gaming, where where one person's jungler splits off and goes and, and you know, single-handedly basically wins the game. Uh, I mean, people were going nuts. The audience, the crowd was going nuts when that was happening. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, yeah, like this, I, I get it. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, there's just like, there's just like, you know, some amazing plays that you can see both in professional and in amateur, you know, competitions and just gameplay in general. Where someone manages to pull off like this hype kill where they just managed to like get a penta and it was completely unexpected. It's like one of the main reasons why everyone plays because they want to feel that. They want, or they yeah. want to see that. Oh, those are the moments you look for. Mm hmm. Real Brevin, GHC, Crack. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm liking this combo of of Zodet and Mega Gay Uwu. That you were saying that's high Ooh. damage that Senna compared with with Zodet, um, but it seems like it's working for him. Yeah, I, I think Bow and Bot Lane is a real. This is a really smart combo for uh, Gray's Harbor and a, a good change from the last game. And like the Senna is still doing a pretty good job against them, but like it's pretty even footing right now on both sides. Lucian's doing really good so far. Um, this this game, I've like you know he smashed the spot that Yumi and just take her out. Mm -hmm. And like look at the level difference between him and their Zach. Like he's level eight and Zach's only level five. Zach needs to pick it up a little bit. Yeah, you can tell by their CS clear the difference there between our jungle and their jungle. Odir has two kills under his belt and a bounty, so that's pretty looking pretty good. Ooh, getting that blue buff, always. Like Yumi and Senna are gonna maybe go for it here. We're trying, but ooh. Mega Gate Uwu, good root, good root. Oh, oh. Missed Take that him. ult, but Ez is gonna. Come on. Oh, Senna almost got that damage in on Mega Gate Uwu, but she managed to dodge it. She must have vision there. Oh, 
Oh, looks like uh, Mega Gay Uwu's item just leveled up. That's what that little star meant. So I believe that they will have now more vision power. Let me see what they got. Yep, it uh, their support item leveled up. So that's another thing. There are items in this game that level up throughout the game as well, not only the players. And that can give them more vision, which is really important in, a Le in any League of Legends game. Um, and it can also, uh, depending on their abilities, uh, make it even better. This is going to be a constant battle, battle in mid lane between Silas and Legion. Oh! He's got those dodges. Yeah, no. Ooh. Oh, he stole his ult. That's what happened. So he's Silas is a really interesting that. character. Um, he can steal people's ults and use it against you. So Lucian had his ult there, and Silas used his ult to steal it and then use it against him, and that's actually what ended up killing him, unfortunately. Yeah, that seems a little bit OP. <laughs> oh my gosh, the discourse when Silas came out was... Discourse, all right. And I mean, it's really hard because there are some there are some characters that don't have what is considered a true alt. We have like transforming characters like Needly and um, Jace, where their alt changes their abilities to a completely new set of abilities. Lucian's back. Might get revenge. But we have to keep in mind, though, that now Silas has a little bit extra because he's not that kill. Nice push up there. Like Grace Harvard. Oh, they're waiting for the Drake. Smart. We might have a bit of a battle here coming up over it. Oh, nice. They're gonna focus bot lane first, which is always smart before going for Drake, because they don't have to worry about them coming up and stealing it from you. Well, this Silas is gonna be a problem. I can already tell. Togath doing a good job of allowing the Lucian to get away. I don't know. Or Togath, uh... Oh! They went for it, okay. Was that a trap? Did Akron set a trap for GHC? I think that was a little bit of a trap. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column a a B. It was a little bit of a trap and a little bit of just like really good timing on Akron's side. And now they're they got those kills and now they're gonna be able to get this straight early uh, game. Well, Silas is gonna have to die. So there isn't so at, right now they're on pretty even footing. There isn't a big gold gap. It's even on kills, and they each have one dragon soul apiece. So it's really still up in the air. But that was a really good play on Akron's uh, side. Yeah, you know a Akron's uh, pinball player really caught my eye last game. But it seems like Dread Two is the player with that Silas for Akron that yeah. is, is really coming in strong for. Akron White. Yeah, Dread 2, I think, is going to be the player to watch this game from Akron because not only are they doing really good so far as Silas, but who they're playing as Silas is a character to keep an eye on. Oh, okay. Yes. Looks like we were able to get Rift Herald and use it, so that's good. Oh, they're going to. Attempt there at a gank in bot lane, but they were pushed a little too far up for it. Because the closer you are to the uh, the turret, the harder it is to get the kill, in my opinion, because they have. So, that's so that, this is where Yumi starts. This is where Yumi starts to become a problem. Is when they have her ult, uh, she can stun you, and then the character she's attached to can just take you out. Are they gonna be able to shut? Oh. Good. They shut down, shut him down, but they lost someone in the process. Mandy Bones is, is supplying the words that I lack by saying it's called baiting, and they did until the fight swung in their favor. After that, they built the power to force the last kill. So mm -hmm. That sounds like exactly. They what wanted happened. that kill.
Yeah, they really wanted it. And like, you know what? Tower diving, in my opinion, if you are successful in it and you come out of it alive, then it was worth it. Like, if you wanted that kill enough and you went for it, you deserve it. Ooh, looks like we might get first tower here. Um, nice job by Lucian there. That's something we did not have last game. We did not get first turret, so that is uh, a little bit of a hopeful tick in our side. Oh, uh, Card Kid is unfortunately going to be targeted by these two big characters. Oh, and but luckily our jungler came and finished up Zack there before he could resurrect and he might be able to get a kill off on Orin. Uh-oh, Dread 2 is just chipping away at our turret. Here comes Lucian to the rescue. It's always hard, you know, with uh, minions in the way. Like, there are some abilities that are able to hit your minions and some abilities that aren't. And that always plays a big factor in these little fights. Deer's doing a really good job in the jungle. I want to see that Lucian and Silas fight. I know, right? I, 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 like, we've seen it a couple times and it's always really interesting. Oh, there we go. Ocean Drake is up in a minute 30. That's the question I wanted to ask, and it look, someone uh, pinged it for me, so it's perfect. Oh, uh, cool. We just got Rift Herald again. Another thing we can use to take down a second turret, which is really handy. Ooh, it's Card Oh, Card Kid and oh, Lucian are going to There we go. Oh, wow. They're just going ham on this horn. They might be able to get it. <laughs> Teaming up. There we go. Oh, just deleted him. We need to see some of that top lane action down in bottom lane, because I don't know, I just don't feel like there's a lot of headway being made down there, but... Oh, and they're summoning the Rift Herald up in top lane, which is going to be nice. It's going to get him an tur uh, early turret since Warren is gone, and they can chase down this uh, Zac for another kill, because the turret doesn't matter. Yeah, this is... Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah. Do they still have the Rift Herald's health up far enough to possibly get some more damage down? But unfortunately, we're gonna lose, as Lucian was helping down in the top lane. Lost that mid turret power, but just got another one, so. I gotta say, hats off to I like Cuppin' Pockets playing Lucian for Grace Harbor College. That is Noble Winder. He is a sophomore uh, here at Grace Harbor College and actually gonna be here for another year in our organizational management program, so. Looking forward oh, to okay. many more seasons with him. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. They're take they're, they are just going ham in top lane. They just got the inhibitor. And but it looks like uh Akron is another uh soul. So that is you know, trying to make up for the three turrets we have on them and an inhibitor. Like that's for the first twenty minutes of the game, that's pretty fast. Compared to last game. Oh, we have three now in bot lane, so we can get, get some Grace Harbor there. We've hit another quiet before the storm storm of moments. Yeah. And I'm gonna leave it in your hands for a second, Aller. I will be right back. No problem. Got all right, good they have three in bot lane. Wow, they are just chewing through these turrets. Oh my gosh. Got uh, all, it's gonna be a full team. Oh, it's that Yumi, but Togas did real good on taking that damage. Oh, this is not looking good for Grace Harbor, unfortunately. Ezreal needs to get out of there if he can. 
use this ability there. Unfortunately, he's probably gonna slow. Looks like he's gonna make it out alive. That was a really good play on Akron. Ooh, they're just pushing that bot lane. Oliver, I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, you missed a really good play on Akron's point. Uh, G uh, Gray's Harbor was just pushing that bot lane, and they managed to get four out of five of our players down in that fight. <laughs> yeah, I come back and I see a chat from Mendy saying, "THC, no." <laughs> I know it was it was pretty savage, but um, they're all back up and looks like they're going for Baron. So I mean, this is a good, you know. Alternative. And Akron is thinking about healing. Looks like that Silas is, but I have confidence that they're gonna. Oh, cool. We got it. Sweet. Yeah, We're not him. able to yeah. heal it. And because they have that, oh, yeah. that buff, they're gonna just decimate Akron in this team fight. I am liking that. Managed to get three of theirs. And now it looks like they're just gonna push up mid lane, which I think is a smart idea. Ooh, be careful here, Udir. Orin's cut. Mm. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, smart use of the dying. Orin's ult always scares me when you hear that. And it, his giant rams comes. Ooh, wow. Lucian is just going for that kill. Hey, they might wanna... Morgana might be able to get out because she has those slows, but... Looks like the rest of the team is looking, chipping away at their two... Re they have three remaining turrets on the outside. Alright, what are they gonna do now? I don't know what a deer is doing. Is he stealing their? He must be stealing their, their camps. Morgana is going around taking out some sight. Man, that Lucian sitting at eight and two right now. Is he really? Oh wow! Great. Yeah. But like, if you take a look at the Silas, the Silas is also sitting at eight. Yep. He's sitting at eight and four, but that's still something right. to keep an eye on. Oh, perfect. They were... Akron is really making sure to focus these jungle, these uh, dragons, but it looks yeah, like... They are. They're they want it, but I don't know if Grey's Harbor's gonna be able to get it. Oh, nice. Took down Senna. Yep. Great. So the Akron did match to see it, but looks like we're gonna get uh, some kills out of this. Oh, Silas, smart use of the stopwatch. <laughs> Lucian taking out Silas. Oh, and there we go. Uh, Ezreal taking out Yumi. They're chasing down now. They're, uh, they're Orin. Nice. Double kill. I'm fortunate that they missed the Drake, but you know what? I feel like those kills were worth it. Oh, they're just gonna walk right- oh, this is- yeah, since two of their members are down, they are able to just walk up and take a turret and possibly another inhibitor. Lucian got another kill in on Senna, who just came back up. There goes the inhibitor. That's, oh, yep, so there's one inhibitor, and now they're going down for the other one that has respawned. Oh, wow. So now would be, in my opinion, a smart time for most of them to recall because we do have low health team members on Grey's Harbor and Akron is going to be all right there, minus Senna, who is down for another 15 seconds. So why are they not recalling? 
Um, because they're they're kind of they're they're hemming and hawing about it. They're not sure if they should recall, but looks nice. like they have now decided to trickle back into the forest and take the camps and get like I mean, look at the gold difference right now. We have forty versus almost forty six, and the turret yeah. difference. So yeah, they recalled, they got their items, and now they are gonna go back out. Nothing's really up right now, so the main focuses are probably a couple of the camps, but a majority is just focusing on a lane and taking it down. Or getting rid of vision, as you can see, as great Micronics. GHC is definitely supporting each other with their with their mm -hmm. composition at least from what i can tell better this time around but hats off to that lucian to to noah winders i like cups and buckets uh just really my mvp pick for this game for sure yeah just this game monster. is definitely off to them um where last game it was pin brawl this game lucian is definitely doing a really a really good job and but so is our Uvier. he's doing really smart things with his abilities Cho'Gath, as you know, doing a choke good, taking those hits, <laughs> getting right up in their faces. Yeah, yeah just doing Cho'Gath thing. Yeah. Like, like, and here's the thing, but the main focus of this fight right now isn't even the the other enemy players. They want this turret. So if they can chip away another lane's turret all the way up to the um the inhibitor, that's a that's lo looks really good in Grace Harbor. I don't know why he, they were just standing there. Oh, Lucian! Lucian baited him in for a hit and almost got a kill. Oh, and he has a red buff. Nice. Okay, now is the time to start being careful because we got some half health <laughs> players now. But they're just poking them. This is like this is a, a, one of my favorite parts of um, League of Legends, where you're all just kind of standing around poking. Other. Like, it's fun. Right. You're know, like, what's gonna happen? Right. Oh, they're gonna get the turret, and there now they're go. just gonna go in on the enemy team with those stuns and the high damage alt, hoping to get them before they can get to their other turret. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! It's like Oh, got shut down though by that horrid oh. alt, but you know what? That happens. He had a 700 gold bounty. Wow. Twelve and three. three. Wow, that's looking nice really. Stars, that's that's really good. good. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Udir is playing with fire here with this. Not Udir. This is Morgana. But you know she's got them stuns. She can just stun them and walk away. Ugh, I love Arcane Comet. That's one of the most satisfying things in this game, in my opinion. To manage to hit someone with your spell long, it's like you don't even see it happen, and then your Arcane Comet goes flying off to deal more damage. Trying to do some uh, arc, uh, looks like Akron's trying to do some cleanup there in base. Oops. Ocean Drake is going to be up here in a second. Uh, Grace Harbor should really get this. They do not want to let Akron get this, uh, the, the soul. And looks like Akron. Ooh! Akron's going for it, but everyone's coming to the party. Yeah. Lucian, oh, beautiful. Oh, they are just chewing through them right now. And Cho'Gath's doing a really good job of gatekeeping right there so that they can't get in. Nice. So second, got a dragon, though. Dragon. Mm hmm That's really good. Um, yeah, Morgana has been doing a very good job this game, by the way, by clearing those visions because it's a limiting the enemy's uh, ability to see across the map, and she is putting down new one errors in place. Oh, and here we go, a Baron, perfect. Morgana, though, should probably be up there doing that, it's the vision, but you know what, I think they got it. <laughs> yeah, Pinball's not gonna get there in time. Orange trying to steal it. Oh, blue team has stolen Baron Ashtar, fuck it. Zack got in there and got it. Wow, that was a really good steal by Zack. But I think he died for it. Yeah, he died for it. 
Yeah, I have not seen as much of a of a trade in League of Legends as I do in Valorant, Riot's other title. You know, in Valorant, somebody takes one of yours, you take one of theirs, and it's really this. Yeah. You trade picks. Yeah, I, I played a little bit of Valorant, and I I agree. You don't see as the trade. You don't see trading as much. Gosh, Lucian is just chewing through those camps. Oh, everyone's gonna go back, probably uh, hop off and go in for a new push. Cause yeah, they're all coming down mid lane. I wonder what item he has on him right now that's giving him that effect. Um, oh, he has, um, not redemption, but it's the one that resurrects you. Oh, they're slowly coming up, up mid lane. Ooh, Blade of the Ruin King, just picked up by Udir. That's that's a good item, especially for him to have. <laughs> Everyone's like doing their own little cleanups before like the next big fight. Right. Kind of funny to see. Looks like Akron's trying to reverse uh, the Morgana's vision yep. work. They're trying, um, but it looks like I saw Udir helping them there a little bit. And see, now they're just getting, uh, Akron's just getting pushed back into base a little bit. So why do we have such a big difference in terms of kills, but not as big of a gap in gold? So it kind of depends. So like if you hit tab and you look at the kills, like you don't have, um, we had a couple people who had like, you know, we have, Lucian has a big bounty right now with 350. Mm -hmm. But like if you look at the kills in general, they're all pretty even or they've been traded off a little bit. So they're not shutting down, they're not shutting down Akron for a lot of gold because they're not getting as many kills. So that's why there isn't a big difference in the gold there is because they're not trading off those bounties. Ray's Harbor is the one that has been having those bounties, and it's only been really beneficial for Akron to get them. Gotcha. And I don't think, and right now, I don't think anyone on um, Akron has a bounty, so when Grace Harbor kills them, there's no shutdown. Right. Ooh, we just lost a turret. Yeah, that looks like a smart play from Akron. Really taking advantage of, of GHC not being there. Mm -hmm. um, they're trying to keep those inhibitors up, but I think that's what everyone's kind of like slowly moving in to do is to take them out again after the Drake and maybe the Baron are up again. I think it's just kind of waiting until then. Yeah, it must spawn soon. Yep, in a minute. <laughs> So everyone's just kind of circling and waiting and trying to get rid of vision and create vision. Ooh, Orin just picked up Warmog's armor, so he's going to be harder to kill. <laughs> Some little fighting over the, the environment there. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was well played by Morgana. So, All right, what is, so the Drake's what is about that? to come in. So what is what? So I, I keep I keep seeing Zach. The character Zach played by yeah. I think Neon Pike on uh, yes. Akron's side. Uh, and I always see them in fights, but not as a major player. What if what is what role is Zach doing? Is Neon Pike doing that? Um well, what they're trying to do is they're trying to do like some more like poking from a distance and being um trying to be flexible and available to their other teammates. And Zack is a not, oh, so blue team got the dragon, but so now we have, looks like Ocean, yep, Ocean Soul is up. Nice, a Penta kill from our Lucian. Wow, that just like unfolded like in an instant. Oh my gosh. So he is now at 18 and three. I agree with you. He is definitely our MVP of this game. Oh my right? gosh. Well, and oh. now here's the thing. Now that it, I, I feel like we might see the end of the game here in a second. Because
because uh, now that they got that pentakill, everyone is out for 20 seconds, and they are just going to be able to destroy this turret and do take down the enemy. Yeah, exactly. They can do whatever. They can play in their house and nothing will happen. So this is probably the end of this game, which was really well played by both sides, but Grace Harbor definitely managed to pull it out there. We see we got our good jobs. They're well played from both sides. Yeah. So I got it. That was really well done. Yeah. All right. So, so mid lane is going to be interesting. We have a Pantheon and a Azir, which are... From what I remember, much more up close fighters compared to a Silas and a Lucian, which we saw last game. Um, and they're gonna be really big players in team fights. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, and we have a Vladimir up in top lane now versus I believe last game was the Orin. Um, still a tank, it's almost like a trade. It's not, it's kind of like you know, the Volibear Udir trade where we got a little bit more tankier. Mm -hmm. um, they got a little less tankier with that Vladimir pick, but Vladimir still can be considered a tank in uh, the right scenarios. Well, I'm going to be watching for that early aggression coming out of Grace Harbor. Uh, if if that is yeah. our, our signature, uh, I'm on board. Sign me up for that. <laughs> Give me the t-shirt. That sounds great. <laughs> Yeah, um, if we see right away from the beginning, like, uh, like especially the jungler Volibear after he clears his camps, going to any one of the lanes and helping with a gank here or there, like, that we're going to see some early game aggression from Volibear, because that's what Volibear is kind of known for, especially after their rework. And here we are, coming in. On the left, in blue, we have Grays Harbor College, the Chokers from Aberdeen, Washington. In red, on the right, we have University of Akron White, the Zips from Akron, Ohio, in game three. Oh gosh, we flipped again. See, I, I always, I know that this is a common practice, but the flipping <laughs> always is what gets me. So now I gotta remember, blue is us and red is them, once again. I believe in you, we can do this. <laughs> Oh, it looks like they're doing the same thing that they did at the beginning of the last game. It might be unfortunate if the, they, uh, if this, uh, Pantheon decides to come in or not. <laughs> they're all just emoting and laughing right now. Mm -hmm. it's looking like some I think they're trying to bait each other. I have a feeling that the end. Well, no, the <laughs> It's just the Pantheon there, so they could just go in and kind of ruin his day if they want to, or steal his buff. Oh, Pantheon has a, a distance shot. So it's not going to work out like last time. They're not going to get that first blood of that poor suspecting uh, <laughs> jungler, but so everyone's going to set up in their proper lanes. I gotta admit, I love seeing a Senna Lucian combo. It just feels right. Yeah, see, I don't remember how. Zier plays. I'm gonna have to watch mid lane a little bit. See how that's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Pinball and card kid back at it again. Mm -hmm. As they do. Mm -hmm. They must be good friends by now. They must know how each <laughs> other play, you know? <laughs> right. They're not fighting, they're having tea and just talking over the events of the week. Uh-huh. Talking, uh, talking over as they crush the minions below them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good hits there. Ooh, that's a good root. I can't tell if this is baiting or just sort of sending some shots to test the water. I think this is a little bit of just, you know, testing the waters, and Akron's playing uh, in bot lane a little bit ag more aggressive than they were last game with that Senna and Yumi combo because they have that Lucy in there. So uh, Morgana and Ezreal are hurting a little bit. 
top lane's doing pretty good. Choke, uh, Card Kid is pretty good about getting up there. Oop. Jungler was up there for a second, Andy, but looks like Volibear is going to help. Yeah, this first blood might go to Akron as well. Yeah, I... Or? Also. Wait, Volibear is... <laughs> no, you might have spoken too soon! It'll be interesting to see... Oh, nope, that managed to escape. Lane's got to be really careful right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a that was really well done on Morgana's part there. That root managing to get it between those minions, well played. Minions are such a pain in the butt when you have abilities that can hit them, because then you're like, dang it, I didn't hit the champion, I hit a minion. And minions are, are are basically like like pawns in chess, right? They're there to sort oh, of yeah. co provide cover. Yeah, that's actually a perfect like analogy for it. Like the minions are pawns, and you gotta know how to play around them and with them. They also give you gold, so like killing the enemy pawns is really beneficial to you. Are we just waiting for the first player to really commit to going all in, get overextended, yeah. and, and get taken? Yeah, I think both teams are playing very cautiously and strategically right now, but, uh, might, oh, oh no, like, everyone's oh. just kind of like, they're kind of footsieing it, they, they're being careful, they don't want to be the first one, you know? Oh, Volibear might get the Senna. Yeah, and this Art. might be where the mind games come into play. I mean, if, if Akron is is going to play off GHC's confidence from winning that last round, oh. GHC might that overextend and fall into a trap, get baited, and yeah. fall to first blood. That Lucian literally had like 10 hit points left and managed to get away. Everyone, oh, they're playing really carefully. Because like, you know, if Grace Harbor really wanted that first kill or wanted that kill, they could have tower dived, but they didn't, which I think was really smart because everyone's playing really carefully. That Zack is is hiding and I think waiting yeah, for over extension yeah. to be the... He is waiting. To dive, yep, to oh, and see, he thought he had out. it, but he missed his missed it. Oh, that was really well played in the back. <laughs> trying to maybe get one of them. That was close. And what's interesting, what's interesting is Dragon is up and neither team is biting at it. They do not want to let up their footholds that they have in their lanes right now. Oh, yeah, wait, Zack might be going for it. Oh, but he backed off because I think they have vision there. Nope. Didn't want to mess with that. I calling. I was worried there for a second there for our Zier. What's happening down there? Nope, just walking around. Oh, looks like uh, uh, Akron's going for the Drake. Which? But Morgana's coming. Down here? They backed off. Yeah, but they backed off. So, being really careful. Oh, nope, they're still going for it. But see, they got too far away from it and it returned. And now, oh, Grays Harbor might get it. That's looking likely. Then yeah. I try to steal it. Yep, we got it! Alright, nice. Still though, for the for seven minutes into the game, there is not a single kill on the board right now, which I find really interesting. Is it three very different games? It's yeah, each game has been incredibly different, which just goes to show like how the different there's different ways to play this game. 
Like right now, like this this type of game is what I call it's everyone's doing their job. They're staying in their lane and they're like, no, I'm doing my job. Like they are focusing on like the basics of the game, which is not a bad thing. Oh, this might be trouble here for our Zir. He's got 3v1. But if he has I think his W or E is that wall. Oh, he manages to get away. That's good. Oh, they want it so bad. <laughs> oh, we're starting to hit level six. We're gonna start seeing some ults. Yep, there's Lucian's. Oh, Ooh. is as as gonna get it? Come on, there first blood by Morgana. Nice. Oh, fighting over Rift Herald. Looks like it's gonna go to Gray's Harbor. Yep, pick it up. I get some kills out of here. Wow, that was a really good escape there. And then Card Kid is doing a good job with in brawl. They might. Ooh, good flash. Yeah. Not the cleanest exit, uh, but. Oh, ah! oh yeah, that burn. And can't the make burn it. is what got him. Yep. Oh, but it looks like I like Cups and Buckets also got a kill in there. Yep, Senna. Nice. Good job under the jungle. Oof. Okay, Dread 2 is gonna be the one to look at this game, I think. He's doing pretty good. Pantheon. Good teamwork there in bot lane. That should save Morgana. Gosh, I love Morgana's spell shield. It stopped uh, that Senna root from taking place, which was really helpful. I think I think that player playing Morgana it has been another good candidate for for MVP. I mean, Mega Gay Ulu mm -hmm. has been critical in a number of plays. Oh, yeah, especially the last, if you just look at the last, oh, that's good, Lucien. Oh, good ult in return! Um, no, Mega Gay Uwu as Morgana last game and this game has been doing a very good job of doing the support job, but also poking at the right times, which is always something that's really hard to, like, figure out when is a good time. They're just going up at it in top line as top lane as they do. And even though Cho'Gath has died once, Vladimir was not the one to get it, so if there is not enough balance up there. But this Zack, ooh, it's just hitting up, teaming up on him. Oh no. Okay, so that's the second kill there for Dread too. So he's getting some momentum there. Candy Bones, you are definitely correct there. Pantheon is gonna become a problem. Oh, team fight? Maybe? Oh, but they're going for that dragon. Alright, blue team got it, nice. Now it's team fight time. And 
Grace Harbor pull it off. Cloud wins Waken. Nice. Win bonus. Double kill! They get this uh, Zack as well. Not. Nice! Oh, that Dread Chew, though, he's gotta be at like. He must have at least three of the four kills. Wow, almost at the 15 minute mark, and there's still. All the turrets are up. Yeah. Such a different game. I know. You did, uh, you, uh, we had a really good double kill, though, in there, and we, we're at the two, we're at the two dragon mark, which is really good to see. A nice change from previous games. Mendy Bones in chat saying the Pantheon execute damage is going to be a problem. Yeah, so Pantheon has, uh, so some, some, uh, some champions like Pantheon have, uh, this ability where if a player is below a certain level of health, their ability will just straight out kill the, cha the enemy champion, which is going to be a big problem in some of those fights. Necron thinking about... Nope, Rift Herald's not up. <laughs> this poor Zack just keeps putting down boards and finding new ones. Hotlane's doing a good job of holding their own. Cho'Gath could use a little help in top lane. Oh. Come on. Get him. Yeah. Get him! Oh, we got 2v2. Probably might have to get out of there. Azir's coming in. Oh! Guys, shut down! Okay. Oh, oh it's been a ult. might have broken up the party. See, that was a really smart ult from Senna. So Senna can, her ult can shoot across the map and it gives shields to her, uh, her, uh, her teammates. So that was really smart in helping her Zac and her, um, Lachie in there. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse for Akron without that. Yeah, and I mean, but look at Cho'Gath and, uh, Azir yes. are, yeah. I like cups and buckets, good job. Yeah, that's Morgana's just doing so good with her spell, her spell shield. Oof, we're gonna probably uh, see. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Mm. Oh! Oh, that was... Gonna get away? Oh! oh. That burn! Oh, it's a burn! I think we're gonna see a, see a constant exchange between I like I like cups and buckets versus uh, Dread Two, especially after that last game with Lucian just you know pinning him down constantly. Oh, nice. Oh, that's thought they would get away from that. Sometimes it's hard. Yeah, that's too bad. The Dre uh. Pantheon's ability with that uh, she the shield up and then they're dealing damage, it's just so hard to go against. Yeah, Mendy Bones was highlighting that Pantheon. Enzo and chat pointing out so dead on that Ezreal. And uh, U of A is Morgana. Mm hmm. Looks like. Oh, yep, Cloud Drake is gonna be up in 50 seconds. Akron's trying to get a early foothold there because yeah, Race Harbor has managed to get the last two. I think we're gonna see a team fight here in a second because everyone wants this strip dragon. <laughs> Wow! Oh, that's Nancy 
on. Red 2, oh my gosh. Yeah, Red 2 is doing a really good job as Pantheon, and... Oh, are they gonna be able to get, uh, nope. get the burn? Got Vladimir. Morgana nice. got him. Trying to stay together. We still have 4v, 4v5 right now. Going for it. Yeah. Looks like, uh... Oh no, none of them I don't think really have an ult that can just go in and take it, you know? Yeah. Alright, so that's their first. We got the bot laners in mid lane, both for both sides. Poor card kid's been having a hard time in top lane between the Vladimir and the um, Amphion going up there. Ooh. Yeah, do we need to see Grace Harbor switch and start supporting card kid more? Uh, yeah, I think Grace Harbor needs to support. If they were able to support them, maybe a little bit, there wouldn't be as much. Um, I mean, it might be a little too late now, but like they made, they needed more early game support, like they did in the last game. But it seems because that Zach just keeps cycling up there pretty often that it's giving Card Kid a hard time up there. I think. Because here Zach comes again, but uh, I think he had enough. Yeah, and unfortunately, yeah, luckily he he barely has a tower. Oh, but looks like uh, yep uh. Azir teleported in to give a hand. Yeah. And... Ah, yikes. That's Morgana hurt. got up there a little too late on Fort Morgana and, uh... And... Is that Ez, or...? No, Choget. Late. Helping the other one. But... Yeah, it's going down. Mm -hmm. That Bolly Bear could easily... Could go in right now if they want. They could go in right now and probably take out at least one of them, but it'd be a hard trade. Because with that dread two there, he's a big, he's a big danger. That seemed like it went down fast. Yeah, well, when you had the, the, well, since we're so later in the game, the the turret plating had fallen, so when you have four enemy champions there dealing damage to a, ta a turret, it's just gonna go. Yeah. Gosh, their jungler has just been everywhere. I was trying to prevent a recall there. This still feels like the it's anyone's game. It, oh yeah, it really is. Like, I mean, if it, like I'm a little worried, but at the same time, it's like they're so close. The only thing that's really playing in Akron's favor right now is that they have those three turrets while well, Grace Harbor has time. Yeah, unfortunately Morgana just was a little too overextended there. Looks like they're going for Baron. Vision for days! <laughs> they all drop vision! Yeah. So now it'll be interesting to see what Grace Harbor does here. Because they can either wait till Baron's almost done and try to steal it, or they can wait till Baron's done done and then try to wipe the enemy. Okay, hard kid, got one. Okay. Okay, back out for a second. You really gotta turn around and get that Lucian. Hey, yeah, oh my gosh, that Pantheon got triple kill. But, uh, they gave up on the Baron, they're all recalling, so... Now 
Drake is going to be up here in a little bit, so that's going to be another battle there. Mega Gay Uwu doing a good job on Vision there, deleting, deleting the enemy teams and putting up our own. Oh, may, might be able to get to Zack. There's a bit, pretty decent level difference there. Yeah, but Akon coming in. Yeah, that Dread too. Gosh, he has to have a... Yeah, if he's godlike, he has to have probably at least a 500 triple bounty. 700. Yeah, 700. 11 and 11 1, oh my gosh. Yeah, Dread 2 really, really punching hard for Akron mm -hmm. this game. I feel like they were kind of keeping this character maybe in their back pocket in a way. They seem to be really comfortable with it. <laughs> Zach just throwing himself in there. Yeah. Oh, this Cho'Gath run! Run, Cho'Gath run! <laughs> Oh, Volley Bear to the rescue. They might be able to. Red Team's turret has been destroyed. Nice. Slowly working on it. Azir is doing a really so. Is what what's really nice is, is they're split. Uh, Azir is pushing while they're all distracted over here. If you look at bot lane. Azir is all the way up to their uh, base, and now they're all recalling because of it. Right. And with Cho'Gath here, they, I don't know. They might be able to get one or two kills. Today. That seems like kind of a gutsy strategy, sending Azir that far in deep. I mean, that's a really common s strategy. Um, it's similar to split pushing, but like, while well, everyone's focused on one specific thing, like how we've been fighting over the Baron for the last like four or five minutes, it was actually a really smart thing to have Azir do that because everyone was distracted and you don't, you're like, oh, minions must have gotten a turret. And then you see, oh wait, no, there's a, there's a champion there. We have to go do that. And then they have to break the formation. Is there, when one side is retreating from a team fight like that, is there much significant a a advantage in attacking while they're retreating? I mean, do you, is that something um, that happens? Yeah, that can be, because if that person is still putting on pressure by pushing up the one lane, and then you interrupt their recalls and decide to do a team fight, you could really pull them out of their element that way. That's what I think, like, you know, they're kind of, they're, they're playing very carefully, because I feel like if we had seen, if this had been game two, they might have gone in and uh, interrupted, you know, those calls. Right. Well, I wonder if we're not going to see Grace Harbor maybe push that edge a little bit more now. I mean, we're down five kills, so close in gold. Uh, it's still doable, I feel like... but... The caution isn't isn't serving us. No, I feel like now, like we're starting to see a little less caution. Like you know, with Morgana roaming around as she did before, and now like look at they're hunting down. Yep. Like oh, that was a lot of ults right there. But Volibear did a good job of taking a lot of that damage, and we can see a team fight here go in Grace Harbor's uh, you know, favor if they go for it. So this team fight's happening, and, and we see Akron down in the bottom lane. Oh, yep. Making see now push. they're now they're doing exactly what we had just done, where uh, they are now they are now pushing up turrets. But look, I like cups and buckets. Just got one. Um, 
See, they should, they, this is fine. They, they can allow this to happen up to a certain point. Like once Vladimir hits, you know, that, that home base turret area, that's when you start to recall. But right now they have, they have a good, they have a good press going on. I mean, look at like, they got a turret, they got a, yeah. they got a champion. This is a good, this is good for them. That Vlad honestly should be back here helping his team and it might, yeah, no I, I think they're coming fight. now. Yep, now they're coming. Because it looks like one of our team members recalled. Yep, Cho'Gath is chasing him. Beautiful shutdown by Ezreal there. And now, he might be able to get this tower too, and hopefully an inhibitor. Yeah, this is that aggression from Grace Harbor huh? that I like to see. Yep. Oh gosh, is, is he gonna go for- Oh, he did! He went for it with that ult on Senna! That was really well done. Oh, Pinball all really stuck crazy. in there. Oh, but now they all realize, oh hey, the Drake is alive! We need to go get that. Crunchy Leaf asks in chat, who's winning? Yes, is the <laughs> answer. Yes, it, yeah, I agree with you. Yes is the answer. It's like... This is a really good game from both sides. And what's I think really working in Grey's Harbor's um, favor right now is that like the two champions that did die in that last team fight were kind of trickling in and now they have big chunks of their health bar missing. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hang on. Oh, you are down for Grey's Harbor. Ooh. Make that a double kill on uh, Pantheon's part, but uh, Volibear there did a good thing by taking the damage in order for Ezreal and Azir to escape. But they did get the Cloud Drake. And now they're gonna go up for uh, Baron, which is a good idea because they are down three players. Yeah, Mendy Bones really called up in the beginning. That Pantheon just gotta not take your eye off them. Oh, yeah. Because once you do, they're gonna... Oh, that was a nice ult attempt by Ezreal, but a little early there to first steal. Okay. Alright. Okay, so they're all recalling. So it'll be interesting to see what lane they push. Enzo's saying Akron needs to push mid lane right now, and if they don't, they are throwing. Um, I can I can agree with that in some sense. Like, yeah, because okay, yeah. I mean, look at how they're split up right now. They have the Baron buff, and they are not together as a group, pushing down one lane, which I feel is a detriment to their gameplay because they are not they're not using that that um that Looks buff like to their advantage now. with. Oh, maybe I mean, they now they are. Top but and there's... bottom, but we've got three of them coming down mid. That's a little better. Yeah, because they kind of what like what I think uh, Tenno is trying to say is that like because three members were down, if they had instead of going for Baron had pushed down mid lane, they could have been at the inhibitor already, right. and now they kind of have given that that possibility up. Yeah, but that might have no just gaff. been throwing the play, not necessarily throwing the game. I mean, this is yeah. still a season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. Careful. Calculated pokes here. Oh my gosh, 14 and 2. See, I think being able to knock off that Pantheon early on in the team fight is really helpful because he has just built right now. Okay, 
right they're recalling i think it'd be really smart right now for grace harbor to pick a lane and push it right now with two of them down and all of them recalled it'll be interesting to see what happens are they going through bottom lane i think they um, are i wonder how long i think they, they're either going bottom lane or they're setting up to take dragon yeah, Dragon like spawns dragon. in two minutes, so it's a little early for that. See, they're just I'm a little bit worried about mid lane right now. Depends if they yeah, split up or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, they were called. Good. Oh, yep, everyone's kind of gathering in mid lane right now, going towards that dragon. So I think if Akron gets this one, they do get the soul, the dragon soul, and then, uh, and then Arch Dragon would come up. Or Elder Dragon. Good root. That, yeah, that Vlad over descended. Yeah, Akron just pushing down the middle of that lane. Oh, Akron. oh, okay. nice. Got the loose in. They're down two right now. Nope, just one, just one. The other one managed to squeak away. Mm -hmm. And just hanging on there. Alright, alright. Looking Looks promising. promising. Let's go. Yep, uncontested. Good, good. So now I think it would be really. A... Ooh, they need to get no, back to base. Uh... Oh, no, yeah. No, he's backing off. Show gas in the back. Is he? Yeah, he, he's backing off. He's recalling. But uh, right now, look at what's happening in mid lane. Four pushing up. This is looking really good. If they can get this in hit, that would be really good. Sacrificing themselves for the in hit. Oh, good stopwatch. Good stopwatch. Alright. We lost Volley Bear. So we shut down Vladimir. Gotta be careful with this Pantheon. We gotta get him. Nice! Okay. I like the cups and buckets. Well played. Yes, alright. Three? Oh! Oh, we got four down now. This is uh, this is a ch good chance for them to to get up there if they can clear before uh -huh. air off in thirty seconds. But they're all pretty low health, so they have to be careful because they still have this Senna poking at them. Shogath is doing a good job of trying to take some turret hit. Oh. It's looking like, yep, it's a good game. Huh? Oh! Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah! All right! Yeah! Oh my gosh! That was a good game. This this. Uh, so I just I don't know if you heard that, but my phone just went off with an amber alert, and that might have been <laughs> my heart like pounding. I was like, "Am I am I dying? I'm so excited!" <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! Wow, that was really well about. played. That move at the end, I, I gotta say, pushing oh. up that mid lane. I mean, Enzo was calling it out in chat. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well played, GHC. Enzo calling it. Ali, try to say a G. Oh, that's you. Let's say a GG. Mandy both saying GG. That's me, yeah. Yeah, all right. Let's go. That was a good game. All right. Uh, that was. Love to see it. Uh, Maybe we'll get Pantheon, this though. Oh. oh my yeah, gosh. No, Pantheon, that, yeah, though, like, put his. Tried so hard. Oh my gosh, fifteen and four by Dread too. Yeah. But hey, Dread by the end, I like cups and pockets. Got up there at thirteen and mm -hmm. four as well. Yeah, I mean, good assist. For absolutely home. doing some fantastic work. But every player on GHC being critical to both of those wins. I mean, Card Kid up mm -hmm. there in top lane. You know, just like mm -hmm. putting putting his nose to the grindstone and keeping maintaining that wall. And, uh, you know, I mean, you pointed out both Zodat and Mega Gay Uwu, that Morgana and that Ezreal, uh, doing such a good job as a duo. 
Um, I mean, I'm, mm-hmm. I, I'm going to shut up. What did what what, what, we, what happened? <laughs> unpack oh my gosh. this a bit. All right. So to unpack this a little bit, like, honestly, like, I was kind of teetering more towards Akron was going to take that third game. And so was I. Grace Harbor. I know. And Grace Harbor managed <laughs> to just, like, do some really smart plays in, um, in response to what Akron was doing. And it, in the result, you saw what happened there in the last three minutes. Like, the game completely flipped on its head and Grace Harbor just charged to the finish line. Yeah. Yeah, and I gotta say, like, as as somebody who plays competitively, not league, but other titles, uh, that didn't seem like it was a smart play, so much as it was instinct. You know, like when you're when you're mm-hmm. in a game and there's that voice in the back of your head and it just says, "Go, go now, now is the time to go, go for the ball, go for the play, go for the kill," and I, that's that's what it looked like. GHC did. They said, "Now, it, the time is now. Go." Yeah. There was like a silent moment I feel in the group where the like the, the flip just switched and they're like, We need to go. I am yeah. sure they were all yelling in their voice chat, like, now, 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 like we gotta go. <laughs> right. 